Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about One Piece's new chapter, which is on chapter 1051. This chapter I right hear was very nice and phenomenal and very emotional, you know? So if anything else, let's go. We have to it that someone's making a speech that you don't have to flee. The, the Kaido is already defeated and we get to see the Red Samurai Retainer showing up right now, you know, and ends up talking about what happened. Everyone is actually shocked to see the Red Nine Samurai and so forth to see how they're alive, you know. And then later on, we get to see this is a broadcast to all of Wano right now and every everybody is watching, you know. And we have to it that, like, um... We have to it that, like, um, everyone's, like, trying to figure out what's going on. Then we get to see a scene with the Straw Hats asking Yamato, are you an enemy or something? They're going, no, no, no. Actually, I was actually waiting for you guys for many ages. But also, I'm planning to join with you. Which I hope Yamato joins very soon. Because if Luffy says yes, they just got another beautiful woman. And I love Yamato, honestly, you know? Although I wish, like, um, there might be some twists here and there about Yamato. But that's fine, you know? I'll take what I can get. And Yamato will be a great, powerful ally. Or asset to the Straw Hat crew, you know, and I hope she becomes part of the crew. And then we have to it that that freaking like um, Usopp and Nami is very shocked about that. Frankie's like, "Are you serious?" Brooke and Sanji says, "Yeah, I'll let. Yeah, you could go ahead and join us." And Robin's like, "Yeah, yeah, how amusing." And then Jinbei's like, "Hold on, we need to get confirmation first, and then I'll and then I'll be convinced, you know." And then we see to it that Luffy is okay for now, but he's gonna need a lot of rest, you know. And we had to, Yamato tells everyone else, like, um, everyone else not to freaking run away like, um, Kaido's former crew whatsoever, but whatever the case may be, we had to it that, like, um, uh, Otama explains that her power will only, like, um, where, will only, like, last until, my power will only last about a month until the freaking, like, moon shape comes back around, you know, that kind of thing. But some of them stay tame and stays around stays around, you know? But we have to it that Speed tells Otama that I'll stay around like this, you know, that kind of thing. And we have to it that she's, she tells Speed, like, I'd rather see you as a mother instead of a servant, you know, that kind of thing. And we have to it that everybody sees the speech that Yamato, that Momonosuke makes, you know, saying that everything that's happened right now, will you will finally be free. You don't have to be afraid anymore, you know? This... You get to live as you wish, you know. You won't have to be charged for clean water. And, you know, the, the freaking factories that destroyed our lives will be destroyed. Slavery will not exist anymore, you know, that kind of thing. And we had to, we got to see Otama's backstory, which is really freaking sad. You know, Otama, you actually had parents a long time ago. But sadly, they actually passed away because of overworking, you know, at, fact, at the factory. But she does pray to her parents saying, hey, I'll be okay, so please be fine, don't worry, you know. And we get to see Otama trying to sell hats in this, back, in this flashback right now. I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, she was trying to like, um sell out hats, you know, and she had a friend that's Komachayo, which is the dog, the animal dog that she had ever since she was a kid, you know, but we had to that this man ends up coming in to like, um, help out Otama, telling her, hey, I know as difficult as it is, as it is, but stay strong, they will come in to save you, and that's the Kotsuki clan, and Otama is spirits reignited and promises to stay strong you know and we have to it that otama goes to nami for comfort finally real finally that all the misery and suffering that she did she's finally free from it you know and she remembers how luffy tells otama like just watch i will make it a place where you can eat as much as you want every single day you hear me and and as momonosuke continues his speeches he explains that kaido and and orochi are gone forever you know he even explains indirectly that Luffy, he met Luffy and the others along the way to help him out and, and he puts up his sword up in the sky that is that is his father's sword which is the Ami, Ami no ha Habakiri because Ami no Habakiri which apparently now belongs to him now and Emma goes to Zoro obviously there's a reason for that you know and so forth everybody is actually screaming in joy right now crying tears of joy while Kid and Law can only hear some annoyance here and there now and then and so forth. As for Otama, as for um, Otoko, she finally like um, is smiling. Well, she's always smiling because there's a reason for that. And we have to it. Kozuki Momonosuke is trying to ask Kinemon for help, but he says, "Just say whatever you think is best," you know. And and we have to it. Have to it that Momonosuke remembering like um, 
remembering like what Luffy said to him after 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 what's happened does it, everything seem scary to you he says no more and we had to a Kozuki Momonosuke ends up saying about he is the son of his father Kozuki Odin and I know this is going to be difficult but please lend me your strength so I can restore this cu country to a paradise that I could I could enjoy you know and we had to it that he says it's been two decades that you waited for me, but Wano would be led by me, Kozuki Momonosuke, you know that kind of thing. And we have to it everybody, the Red Nine Samurai, they all finally cried so hard because right now everything they've done, everything they accomplished, everything they been waiting for to happen finally comes true. Wano is liberated from from Kaido and so forth, and uh, from Kaido and Orochi thanks to Momonosuke and the pirate alliance with Luffy and the others, you know, and so forth. While everybody smiles through joy, you know, the Straw Hats, Sanji, Yamato, you know, Nami, Nami, Otama, Momonosuke, they end up having to hug each other. He already hugs her, her, her older brother who apparently has grown up now, even though like him, he's only eight years old, you know, but now he has to grow up fast, you know, that kind of thing. And we had to it that the speech goes off about how like everything will fall, fall nicely and that Momonosuke will continue his devotion and continue his journey about where his father left off, you know, that kind of thing, and and so forth. And now the new Shogun comes comes in and get gets ready to celebrate. So, so yeah, um, this chapter right here was very emotional, you know. I mean, like um, all the terror and terror and misery and slavery and misdeeds from Orochi and Kaido, they've finally been liberated after two decades, you know? 20 years, 20 effing years, they are free. They are finally freaking free. And Momonosuke making a speech of how he, how he met friends along the way to defeat Kaido and Orochi, you know, that was very nice and sweet, and I love that so much. Otama's backstory was also emotional, you know. She lost her parents at a very young age, and that they were factory workers. They were, she was told the truth, and that she'll be okay. She tries to sell hats for a living, but one guy comes in and helps her to the best of his ability, you know. I was like, oh my gosh, dude, and then so forth. And Luffy, and so forth. <laughs> Anyways, I'm looking forward that freaking like um Yamato joins the crew very soon because like um I love Yamato. I mean she's strong, she's tall, she's freaking beautiful as hell. If she joins the crew, she'll become a powerful friend or asset to the Straw Hat Pirates because I'm pretty sure once Luffy reaches Shanks' crew, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a big battle on their hands. I mean we don't know how big of a battle he'll have with Shanks after like Luffy gone through awakening of his devil fruit and all that compared to Kaido and Big Mom, you know, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to be easy. As for Blackbeard, he has two devil fruits, you know, I'm pretty sure he's going to fight him too. And as for the world government, he's going to be chased down everywhere, especially a kind when he when he reaches his own limit whatsoever. And as for um, the Admiral, which I believe uh, Admiral Greenbull, he has yet to make an appearance and I'm looking forward that Oda does make a good drawing of him to show because I'm pretty sure he's super strong but we have yet to see what he's capable of but one thing for sure is that he hasn't eaten for many years if I remember correctly two years or more I don't know but and he's still able to fight but it has to be due to his devil fruit power and something like that because it seems like an impossible feat for someone to not eat for two years because you'd be dead but we'll have to see anyways I'm looking forward that Oda continues his journey with One Piece and shows up a lot of characters of what's to come, especially that new Admiral, you know? Like I said, there's a lot needs to be done and a lot needs to be answered. I think there's only a couple more years left of One Piece left. If I remember correctly, last year or or two years ago or so, maybe, I don't know, that One Piece only is going to have about five more years left and, I don't, and so forth. <laughs> but we'll have to see. So until then, people, I'll see you guys at night. In my next video or so, I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot!